This video is sponsored by Truck Paper. No, I'm just kidding. But Truck Paper, if you do want to sponsor me, feel free to. Well, this Truck Paper's got everything. It's got white Volvo day cabs. It's got blue sleeper Peterbilts. It's got reefer trailers, tow trucks. What else we got here? Dump trucks, I think flatbeds. They got everything in here. You can get yourself a brand new flatbed for, what do we got? $50,000, that's a low price. You know, there's gotta be other options. I think I might check something else. Well, come on down to truckpaper.com. Don't get caught with your pants down like that guy just did. Get some great deals today. Welcome back to the channel. As you can see behind me, we've got a new friend to introduce. But uh, first off, I want to start by saying I was not posting for the past two weeks. Just had a bunch of stuff coming up. It was a little too busy, but we're back on it. We're going to be doing videos every single week again until who knows how long. But anyways, we got a 2006 Bayliner with a Maricruiser four-cylinder motor in it. We're going to be doing some skiing, wakeboarding, some tubing this summer. So we're going to take you along for that. There's going to be plenty of wipeouts. Plenty of people being thrown across the lake, so you're going to have to be there and see it because it's going to be pretty epic. Anyways, let's go take a tour of it and see what we've got. Alright, so this is a 19 foot model. It's the uh, Bayliner Fish and Ski, so it's meant for skiing and then also has like a, a wet well somewhere here for fishing. But uh, got on the lake with it once so far when I bought it and gets up to playing pretty good and it's pretty quick. So I'm pretty excited to do some uh, water sports with it. So we got the uh, old seven person capacity, but we got a whole one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight seats in here. So, you know, that doesn't make much sense. But anyways, she, uh, she starts right up. All the gauges work. Um, some of the switches are missing, but the blower works. Need a new bulge pump switch. Accessory switches are not working. The horn, listen to this, Jim. <coughs> That's straight from the 1950s. <coughs> Anyways, so that works. Um, we've got an old depth finder, fish finder here. We're gonna pull that out because I actually have a brand new one that's been in my basement for two years. We're gonna put a new one of those on there. And uh, so we just replaced the radio. We still have to put the uh, mounting screws in the back to hold it in. Uh, just put some new speakers in there, there. Drilled out some speaker some speaker holes here and here. Put new speakers in there. It's real loud. It's a really nice system. Those are Boss Audio speakers, uh, and they're rated for marine. Um, let's see if we can lift this engine cover up. There you go. There's your standard four-cylinder Mare Cruiser. Those things are pretty, pretty popular. They're in a lot of boats anymore. You find parts for them everywhere. But uh, I mean, that's that's pretty much it. It's your standard open bow boat. You got a ski locker down here. We're about to do some cleaning on it. She's a bit dirty, and there's sawdust from where I was making whole saw cuts for the uh, speakers. So over here, just look how many leaves and crust there is. Over here's your wet well for fishing. Not the biggest, but you know, some small lake fish will go in there nice. So I guess the next step is to do some cleaning. I'm gonna vacuum it out and wipe everything down. And basically all that we have to do before we go out in the water is replace these switches and this fish finder. And I'm thinking about getting a wake tower for it at some point, but I wanna take it out a couple times and make sure it's worth it first.
well you can't tell too much but it's a bit cleaner got all that floating junk out of here all the sawdust wipe down the front and the floors a little bit so these seats something i didn't mention these seats are probably going to be reupholstered at some point because they're old and faded stained and cracking here and there but it's 2006 you know how these things get uh the floors what i really like about this boat is the floor is like that plastic material or rubber i hate carpeted boats it just makes no sense why are you gonna put a carpet in a boat that gets wet doesn't make any much sense but anyways it was between this one or another boat the other one had carpet they're the same price so this one was the one that came home anyways uh, it also came with three life vests so i'm gonna try to put like another four more in here somewhere fire extinguisher i got a throwable for it we got our paddle and of course you got the american flag so uh thing came fully stocked yet another feature i forgot to mention is this is the first boat that i have that actually has a bimini top so uh yeah this summer we're actually going to care about skin cancer and be under the shade because last summer or no it was about two summers ago the uh daily occurrence was you go out you get tanned well i should say burnt one day and then the next day you go back out and you burn again right on top of your fresh burn so we have something to take care of that for this year so that's the new vessel we add it to the fleet don't worry she's not going anywhere unless she decides to blow herself up or sink but uh this summer like i said we'll be doing a lot of tubing skiing wakeboarding kneeboarding wiping out all of that having a good time so definitely check back in we're also gonna have some guest appearances like kid rock and miley cyrus no nah, i'm kidding they won't be there one can hope though anyways comment down below what should the name of this boat be? I've had like, I don't know, seven boats. Three of them were, all, well, probably like five of them were junk. But uh, never made, I've never named one. So drop in the comments a good suggestion for a name. And we're going to put it on the back there. Maybe you can come with us boating too. So uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And we'll see you guys later.